Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael Podlin, and today I'll be talking to you about the performance and diagnostic tool for Epicor 10. Here is an overview of today's presentation. The following slides will cover each topic in a little more detail as we walk through them. If you are experiencing performance issues, you should first contact Epicor Consultant or Epicor Technical Support if the performance issue cannot be resolved through the initial contact. Technical support representative or the consultant may recommend you use the performance and diagnostic tool to gather more information to help resolve the issue. You can use the performance and diagnostic tool to evaluate the performance of one client versus another client on the same system. The performance of the business object methods on both the client and the server overall performance of the server and the network, performance of the business objects on one system against the same business objects on other systems, performance of customizations, personalizations, business process management, BBM methods, and business activity queries, BAQs. The configuration of the Epicor ERP application overall. Installation. To install the performance and diagnostic tool, you will want to log into your server machine. Launch the Epicor Administration Console. From the tree view, expand the server management node and the name of your server node. Select the server, your app server node. A dialog box displays and indicates that uh, when you have connected to the selected application server in the center pane and then displays the properties for the, that application server. You'll next want to click the performance and diagnostic tool. A welcome window appears. Click next. Select the installation folder where you want to click next. Confirm the installation by clicking next again. The performance diagnostic tool installs in the location you specified and click close. You can now launch the performance diagnostic tool depending on your operating system. You can launch this tool in several different ways. Windows 7, you can click the Start All Programs Epicor Software, find the Epicor Administration Tools, and the Epicor Performance Diagnostic Tool will be there. If you're on this Windows Server 2000 or Windows 8, you can press Windows key plus F button to display charms bar and then select the app screen from there. Select the app Epicor performance and diagnostic tool or you can come back to the Epicor administration console and click the performance diagnostic tool button just as if you were installing it. After you first launch the performance diag and diagnostic tool you'll want to start with the settings under the options menu. You'll need to configure and define how each of the modules will work and or where or, and how they will gather the data you will be analyzing. There is also a styles option so you can change the look and appearance if you like. The first one we'll cover is the client tra track analysis. To be begin evaluating performance you should always turn on both the client and server tracing logs. Under the user account security manager maintenance, you can set up the client UI trace logs to automatically activate each time the user logs in to their accounts. Or you can manually generate the client UI trace log by activating the trace log in the Epicor ERP application. Client trace settings. Set up the performance diagnostic tool to indicate when the client trace log entries exceed specific thresholds. Server execution time. Enter the starting value for method calls that originate from the server. Client execution time. Enter a starting value for methods that originate from the client. Network transfer time. Enter a starting value for a time that takes to call a call to travel between the client to the server and or from the server to the client. Types of scenarios that you may want to look at using the client track analysis. Comparison of 
client performance between locations and or client systems. You may have specific users reporting performance issues from their systems. By evaluating the client UI trace logs from multiple desktops or laptops that perform the similar Epicor functions, you can determine differences in the client execution times for the same method calls. This may provide you with some things to consider with your network, especially when comparing LAN users against WAN users. However, CPU differences will probably not be determined because the tool is capturing execution time of the method calls, not the time taken to open the forms and render the data within these forms. Identification of business objects performance issues. You may suspect a business object performs poorly under certain conditions. For example, you notice that transactions entry slows down as the volume of data increases. By monitoring execution time of method calls during entry, you may be able to measure the effect. Identification of performance over time. By an analyzing the execution times of similar method calls throughout the day, you should be able to identify slow periods. These slow periods may be related to network overload or server activity during these periods. Identification of Epicor usage from a client. You can analyze the log from a client to determine what activities that the client engages against the Epicor application. This method also measures the frequency of calls to business objects methods from that client. Identification of customization issues. Client customizations may cause unexpected or excessive calls to business object methods. For example, a poor customization could cause multiple calls to the method not made by the base application. Compare the trace logs that track the same functions with and without the client customizations. This method may help identify performance issues. Configuration check. This feature checks the number of configuration items including the CPU speed and configuration check standard metrics. After the performance and diagnostic tool analyzes the configuration, depending on the results this feature displays, recommended actions you can follow to fix various issues. Some of the results are info displays some key information you should review to make sure your system is set up correctly. Exist notifies you that the various items like customizations and BPM directives are active in the current system. These items should be evaluated for perfor performance. Pass. The configuration met or surpassed these rule requirements. No further action needed. A warning. Alerts you that a potential performance issue may occur. These, review these items to see if, if further changes are needed. A fail. The application server did not meet or ex the rule requirements. The action required column displays recommended action you can do. Not available displays any item that was not available to test. You may need to correct some setup configuration items and rerun the configuration test. Live memory inspection. Use these tests to determine why sometimes the Epicor ERP temporarily slows down. These tests are also useful when you are experiencing unusually high CPU activity or high memory utilization. When the application servers require over 10 gigabytes to run, you should evaluate the reason why your system needs so much memory. The memory inspection module has three tabs. The stack trace tab allows you to review the results of a stack trace. The memory trace tab displays how much memory a selected process consumed during the inspection. The miscellaneous info tab contains some additional information about the live memory tests. CPU utilization indicates how much of the CPU capacity was required to run the process. Threads displays how many threads were available to run the process. Number of CPUs indicates how many CPUs are running to support the process. Server shows you how long the server ran 
to complete the process, date and time displays when you generated the memory dump file to the track the selected process. Live memory inspection. There is also a memory dump feature which is a separate task from the live memory test. You, when you create a memory dump file, you record a snapshot of the memory and the stack trace is used by a selected process. You can then review the mem this memory dump file to help determine the causes of the memory leaks. Network diagnostics. It is recommended that you run multiple tests to gauge the overall performance of your network and compare these results against the network standard metric. Just like the configuration check, you need to update the fields on the setting options window so that the tool connects to the application server. You'll also want to run the same test on the client installations to compare the client results against the server results. If there is a latency on the client network, you'll will find variations in these test results. Server diagnostics. This is similar to the client trace analysis except that you'll be looking and, and analyzing the data captured in the application server logs. Scenarios for the server diagnostics. Examples of how you can measure this, uh, server performance throughout different methods. Identification of server performance compared to other servers. Use this method to identify performance differences for similar business object method calls on different servers. Analysis of activity by workstation. If a user reports slow performance, you can identify what the user was doing at the time and whether the elapsed times or method calls run using expected elapsed times. Analysts of system performance over time. You can observe the performance of specific method calls throughout the day. You may be able to discover slow periods by observing overall differences in execution time patterns for those methods. Analysts of most common activities and performance. You can view the most frequent method calls and their execution times and see what activities consume the most time on the server. Analysts of the server versus network elapsed time for methods. You can see the execution times of specific method calls that on a workstation. You should also be able to identify the same calls from the client trace analysis for that workstation and compare the differences. Identification of customization issues. You can analyze the elapsed time it takes to call a specific method compared to other server installations. This may indicate issues with the customization, business process method, BPM method, data directives, or C code customizations. Log capture. To analyze performance, you need to review application server logs, report server logs, and database server logs. Use the log capture feature to gather these logs into a specific folder. To leverage this feature set, you first enter the default paths to your network and Epicor ERP server. You then enter the directory path where you want the performance diagnostic tool to place these log results. Run the log capture and these files are copied to the target results location. This feature automatically collects server logs, all matching config files based on the network path and the web config. From the Epicore ERP folder, event logs, SQL server error logs, it also run the configuration check. When you are ready to analyze the server performance, in the performance diagnostic tool, navigate to this directory path and select the logs you want to review. You can also compress these files into an archive file and send these archive files to Epicor Tech Support or your consultant for further analysis. Log capture setup. Before you can use the log capture feature, you need to determine some of the settings on the server. Thank you for attending this Lunch and Learn.